Well, hello everybody. It is food cart Friday. Show, show a little love everybody. Woo, we've got a truck full of people. It's actually not a truck, it's a bike. This is Albert, my personal assistant. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here and we are on the Pacific Pub Cycle, but we're not going pubbing today. We're gonna go to a distillery. Uh, and actually it's a distillery down the street, the Heritage Distillery. And uh, they're gonna take us on a little tour inside there. And then we're going to also go to Finney's Food Cart, um, and then we're going to talk to the guys who are putting on this awesome food our, our food truck festival. And we've got we got a passport going on where you can save money, you can go, you get deals on stuff. It's going to be awesome. Let's get going, man. I'll talk to you while you're riding. So we're gonna um, we're down at the Tap and Growler outside there, and we are going to go from here all the way down. All right, you guys got to work. Yeah, you got to do something. You got to paddle that thing. There's Katie Haller. Look at her. Oh, look at her go. She goes. So we are grooving. Albert, you are so talented. Look, he's sharing at the same time that he's riding. See, guys, you can rent a Pacific Pub Cycle. That's Dennis Quigley. There's Ethan. There's my wife, Kathy. Hello. Dennis, you don't appear to be really working all that hard down there. This is Sandra. You need insurance. Here's Brett. Ah, uh, there's Say and, and again, my personal assistant. <laughs> so, so, um, why we're going? So, oh, stop, you, stop it. It. you gotta do two things at once. So, oh, say, okay. tell us about the, the passport. All right, we got the food truck password once again. We got Park Foodie on uh, on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we got 26 food trucks in here, all around the Eugene area. Uh, each one's offering their own unique coupon. Um, Brent's got a couple of his favorites to tell you about right there. Hold okay, on. so who written down? He has them written down. You got cheat notes, Brent. Got cheat notes. Bacon Nation, you're getting three bucks off. Buck Buck, six dollar chicken biscuit, cider delicious, three dollars off your first pint. I'm already out of breath. Oh and we got God. some great sponsors, like I said, Sweet Cheeks Winery, uh, uh, main sponsor for us. We got My Party Bus is a main sponsor and our grand prize, as well as Mackenzie Brewing. They got a new tasting room opening up this fall over on uh, 6. Stay tuned for that. So you, food Truck Fest as well, June 30th. So you guys, the way this works is you can go to Lane County, Travel Lane County, and you can go into their office out on Gateway or right down in downtown Eugene. For five bucks, you pick up the passport. 26 different food carts on the passport. You get 20 of them, and then you'll get prizes. You're up for prizes. But on all of them, you're going to save money when you go to different places. So that goes through November, but you need to pick them up now because the food carts are open and rolling. So we're going to take you to a food cart. It's not on our list, but it's one at the Heritage Distillery. And we're going to go down there, we're going to get a little tour of the distillery, if these people can ride fast enough to get us there. Good Lord, look at this. This is the one so, standing. This is kind of like being on the Flintstones. Do we have music on this thing? Oh, let's, have, let's get some music. Is it the Flintstones theme song? Oh, does somebody have their own music we can stick on there so we can get it moving? All right, you guys, so we are... In Eugene, oh God. again, this is Pacific oh, yeah. Pub Cycle, and we're not using it for a pub today, we're using it for a different purpose. There you go. So we are holding up traffic. Hey, Ron. You guys say hi to Ron Steary. Hi, Ron. Hey, Ron. So we are cruising along. So um, you can do two things at once, can't you? Up for the most part. Okay, so hold on. Okay. How do people get a hold of you guys? Uh, so the main contact point that we have is our website, which is uh, PacificPubCycle.com. And uh, we have our email there. You can also contact us through our Facebook page. You can also uh, follow us on Instagram at PacificPubCycle. And what people don't understand, there we go. And you guys, what you can do with this is you can do a wedding shower, you can do a, a groomsman party, um, and it's like 300 bucks to rent the pub cycle. And then you can put up to 12 people. You can actually get a few more on there. Uh, you get it for two hours, and they'll take you around to different things. Sorry about the wind, but we've had a little bit of a windy day in Eugene, so I'm sure that's coming over on that. Whoa! But look at our little drivers. Our rides are moving. Thanks, Ron, for putting that on there. Say hi to my mom. I love you, mom. Oh, your mom just came on and said, I don't know who that is. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Sandra, so how are you doing over here? Um, I'm okay. You guys, it's windy out here. Yeah. Our food trucks on the passport right there you guys we are on the Pacific Pup Cycle in going to Heritage Distillery and we're also going to go to Finney's this is Food Tart Friday and we're doing it up big this week you doing it all the way back to We are flying nine and a half miles an hour, Terry. Or Tandy, excuse me, I got the name it. wrong. It's on there. So. All right, let's see here. No, none of them. I couldn't find it. I'll keep working on it. Hey guys, uh, you can rent the Pacific Pump Cycle. Whoa. You can rent this. It's 300 bucks. You get it for two hours. And you can take a party up to 12. This isn't two hours today. Of course, it might take us the way we're going. And we are going to Heritage Distillery. And we are also going to try Finney's Food Cart because it is Food Cart Friday on Get Real with Rick Dancer. There's our friend got it. REI. <laughs> so yeah, you get on here and then you ride. You do your job. This is no free ride. Production assistant, do this for him. I'll do this. on the Pacific Pub Cycle. And uh, they're a sponsor of our Food Cart Friday. And we've got a bunch of our friends together. And we are headed to Heritage Distillery to sample some liquor. And then we're going to Finney's Food Cart. They are not on our list, but they are uh, out right outside there, so we're gonna try them for today. 
if you guys would do me a favor, share this on your page while we're going, that would be helpful. Um, because my computer is not doing what we were trying to get it to do. It's just technology and life. Not my fault. So they're expecting us. No, I couldn't get it either. Oh, this is okay, guys. So I'm going to get you. Here we are, cruising along. Oh, Katie, look at her go. You know, with poking on a pants, you can do anything. That's right. You know? It's like the super power pants. The secret part. She has her secret power pants on. <laughs> So you guys, you can rent the pub cycle. It's about 300 bucks for two hours. And you can take uh, any kind of party you want on it. Take your friends. Um, there you go, Ethan. Ethan's working on a new workout. And you don't have to just pub crawl. You can do it. There's our workout. Where's your workout. coat go? There's our location. Whoa, whoa! Motor's on, motor's on. We're gonna have a tiny bit of a hill coming in here. Go, 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 go! Push, 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 push! It's a hill! There we are! Woo! Alright, you guys. We're Heritage Distilling. Wow. This is the part where we dump the water on our heads. <laughs> And we are live. This is Finney's. And we're going to see how we get in there. Hi, how are you doing today? How are you? Great, how are you doing? We are so glad to be here. I'm so glad you guys are here. So this is Finney's. What, can I come in the back there? What's that? Can you come in there? No, I'm sorry. We Unfortunately, we can't. So what do you do? What is your specialty here? Oh, uh, we have Italian food. So, Layers of flavors. I promise our balls will be the best you ever have in your mouth. You have the best balls that we'll ever have in our mouth? Oh, here you go. So can you say, we got a whole truckload, can we sample some stuff? That is a meatball. And I'm actually making uh, stuffed mushrooms right now, as we speak. Man. So where are you folks from? We're with, uh, I'm Rick Dancer, so we're Get Real Rick Dancer, so we're here doing a live, you're live right now. You knew we were coming, right? No. They might have. We don't. They probably did. Yeah, they're they. We're actually different, but we're still at the same location. So how, when are you here, and how how often are you open? I'm here seven days a week. I um, my hours are different almost every day, but Mondays are eleven to seven. Tuesday and Wednesday are eleven to eight. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are eleven to nine. Now this coming Sunday, since you folks will be in town, we are rolling out something new. Um, I'm doing a complete Sunday brunch instead of doing Italian. We've got six or eight items that are brunch items. We're gonna the specialty that day is going to be a seafood benedict. It has um, scallops, shrimp, crab, mushrooms, and it's in a sautéed cream sauce. Uh, and, that's and then Sunday? it's topped with poached eggs and then our hollandaise sauce. Hi Goldie from Gualport and hi Maria from Sydney, Australia. It's good to have you here. So, um, thank you. Who's in charge here? That'd be her. Is that you? I'm Jessica. Hi Jessica. Hi. So, I've been calling it the wrong name. I saw your email this morning and I did not know. I didn't know it was just Heritage Distilling. Heritage Distilling, HGC Eugene. I have been corrected, but I have you linked on here too. <laughs> So what do you got for us? What do you got planned? We have award-winning spirits. We are the most awarded craft distillery in North America the last five years in a row. So we have whiskey, vodka, gin, and we recently released rum made with uh, Glory Bee Molasses. So the Glory Bee people are involved with you. They are. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can we tour, drink, do what, what do we do? What do you want Let's us to do? Let's do the tasting Because we got some friends here. Come on in, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is Jessica. So go ahead and get up there, Jessica. Oh. So Jessica, come on in here you guys, scoot in. Okay. 
So over here we have one of our tasting flights. We have the double barrel bourbon, we have mango vodka, and we have our brown sugar bourbon right here. This is um, a big award winner for us. This one right here? This one right okay. here, yes. Um, recently named World's Best Flavored Whiskey really? of 2018. What is that? This is a daiquiri luck, so it's made with our heritage white rum. So can these guys cocktails. can these guys taste it? Of course. Those yes. who want you guys come on. Which one was the uh, which one? Either one. Either one. Either one. Either one. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, taste. <laughs> oh, you said taste. No, I'm okay. kidding. I'm I like that taste. I, I wanted. Here. I was hoping. We have fun here. See, and I was hoping you were doing it to do that. So. That was great. So what Delicious. he just tried is our brown sugar bourbon. Oh, yeah. We take. Um, our bourbon, and we prove it down further with a simple syrup of brown sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Nikki will get the label. You guys want to taste? Good. You can sip, or if you don't, you don't. Uh, I thought that was a sip. Yeah, <laughs> that's brown sugar, and this one was. That's our double barrel bourbon. Yeah, that, so we take right. our bourbon, and then we age it again in a barrel that held vanilla extract. Oh, yeah. So it's not adding a sweetness, it's just adding a vanilla note to that finish. And you smell that for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Is, Wonderful bourbon this? to drink straight, um, on the rocks. Absolutely. Well, I'm trying smooth. this. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, that's tasty. I don't drink so much mango. Yeah. It's really good. Tastes like mango? You know, I don't know. Oh, what is in it? It's absolutely delicious. It's tart. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's tart, but peppery. Can you tell us what this one was again? What was that? That's the daiquiri luck. So that's made with our heritage white rum. Oh, yep. So and it's molasses white. molasses from Glory B. So it's molasses is from Glory B. And then the white rum is theirs. That's good because it doesn't have that normal rum yeah. flavor that I don't yeah. care for. <laughs> so it's a blend of different molasses. So it's not like super sweet, but it does have a little bit nice flavor. So we're getting into aging, um, working on different flavors of spices. So we're really excited about future. Is that where all the future. magic happens? Yes. Oh, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think Mr. Finney is going to do it out there. You guys come here. We're going to go in. We're going to go in here. Hold on. So part of our um, mission and vision is to be visually intoxicating. Visually intoxicating. Visually. That's an important thing. Okay, okay. Come on, you guys, you can come in here. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> so, the, what were you doing? Were you, sa were you sampling? No, but we will do that in a bit. Wow. That is part of my job. Is it? So, who are you? I'm Chance. I'm the lead distiller here. Oh, okay. So, um, what, like, look at that thing. Yeah, look at this thing. It's fairly <laughs> impressive, isn't it? It kind of looks like a clarinet, but bigger. Yeah. It's like a big steampunk clarinet from the future. So, uh, so how long does it take to make this stuff? Uh, so we can do, so right now we're doing a redistillation. So basically we're taking uh, already finished vodka and we're redistilling it again. This is vodka that came from wine. So we actually take local wines from Oregon, make vodka out of it. So that's what we're doing right now. And this process takes us about a typical day, six to eight hours. Okay. That's what we're looking at. For a full run on this system, on this setup right here. This is a little bit out of the ordinary for a craft distillery. This is an 800 gallon pot still that goes into a reflux column that strips out all the impurities for us to make our vodka. Uh, a lot of crab distilleries have anywhere from like 100 to like 300 gallon stills. Uh, this is a little bit bigger than your average one. So how can someone from Monterey, California get some? They're asking. Someone from Monterey, California. So you can go to our website, heritagedistilling.com. You can actually look up uh, stores local to you, what we have available. We do do national distribution. We're in 26 states and California isn't a liquor controlled state. So you should be able to find it. Uh, we also have uh, codes online, so you can actually go up and look up the specific ordering code. So you can give them to your liquor store locally and tell them, I want this, and they can look it up uh, and order it from us and get it shipped to them, to your local liquor store, and they can pick it up there. So you guys, we are at Heritage Distilling, Eugene, uh, right in the wit, and we are here checking out their pipes, checking out their machinery, and how they do what they do. Okay, so what do you want us to sample? <laughs> well, so hey, what is this going here? So, so this, this, this is actually vodka coming off the still right here. So, so you guys, that's vodka coming off the still. So part of my job is making cuts. So basically, what we what we do is there is a heads, a hearts, and a tails of a spirit. The heads is poisonous stuff. The hearts are the stuff you like to drink. Tails are the gross stuff at the very end. Okay. Um, and so I make what we call cuts. So basically, this stuff comes off the still, and I'll do I'll feel it, 
Um, if we're in the heart, it's going to be uh, very dry. It's going to evaporate really fast. Not much oil involved in there. Um, I'm going to smell it. It's going to smell like acetone. It's going to smell like fingernail polish. All that stuff is actually in heads. It's, it's the poisonous stuff. If you ever heard stories in Prohibition about people going blind from like bathtub gin, that's because they didn't eliminate the heads from the cut because it wasn't federally regulated during Prohibition. So anybody can make it. And so it wasn't really regulated with what's happening. Uh, hearts, once we get it. So I'm touching it and I'm smelling it for heads because I don't want to taste it because it's poisonous. Once I know that we're, it starts to feel and smell like hearts, I can actually stick my finger in there. Uh, and you do what it's a uh, finger stick and you go down the very center of your tongue and you do a taste test. Now we're already in hearts right now, but basically what I'm looking for when I do that finger stick is that if there is any methanol left in the spirit, there'll be this prickling sensation in the back of your tongue. And it, it takes a little bit of practice to distinguish that from the heat, because this is actually coming off at 190 proof right now. Really? So this is, yeah, this is some high octane stuff. <laughs> like this is, uh, this is all steam operated. So no open flames, no anything like that. So like moonshiners, you watch a TV show, there's open flames, super dangerous because that stuff can blow at any moment. So this so is very flammable. What goes on up there? That's our mezzanine. So it's, it can be in an event space that you can rent out locally for your local events. We also just have it as open seating for people that want to come out, watch the production process from up top. Um, if we're on a really busy day and we can't get people down here for a tour, you can come up top and that's always open for people to come check out what's going on. Wow, I didn't know. What All of these stills that you're seeing are actually uh, handmade and imported from Italy. So this, this tall one that you see right here is actually a, a, a grappa, originally a, grappa, a variation of a grappa still. Um, it's what we call a polishing still. And to our knowledge, it's the only one like it in the craft distillery in North America. It's built custom 20 feet up to the ceiling. It's got 32 plates all the way through. We actually had to take the roof off of the building, that section right there, just to finish it. You guys, check this out. That is a big ass fan. <laughs> Literally. No, that's the company that makes yes. it. It's called Big Ass Fan. Yes. Because I went into a place one time and they said, that is the biggest fan I've ever seen. And the lady goes, that's a big ass fan. I go, no, it is a big ass fan. She goes, no, that's the name of the company. <laughs> yeah. Literally what they're called. Yeah. Staying alive playing in the background. Rick, you got it. <laughs> this is so cool. So is that finished then? Uh, this is our second distillation. This will actually, we'll collect this and we'll go through one more distillation of it before we consider it finished. All of our flavored vodkas are from wine. So basically what we do is we partner with wineries. Uh, so if a winery has a bad batch of wine and they have to dump it, uh, they would actually usually have to pay a fee for that. It would cost them money, but we can actually uh, orchestrate a, a trade. So they'll give us wine that they would normally dump. We'll take it and we'll distill it. We'll make vodka out of it in this process. And we'll take the other half and we'll make it into brandy and we'll give it back to them. So they can possibly huh. turn a profit on what would have been a loss, and That's we also great. get product yeah. for us to make a uh, vodka out of. Yeah. It helps us make really great cuts with all of our wine vodka also. That's why, it all, that's why all of our flavored vodkas taste so great, because uh, they're made with the best cuts, because we get a lot of good material from it. From I didn't know until I went to another distillery in town that gin starts as vodka. Yep. I didn't know that. I mean, I had no idea. You have lots of gin folks talk about how they hate flavored vodkas, and really all they're drinking is flavored vodka. <laughs> I love gin. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That was really fun. I appreciate your time and doing that for us. Yeah, no problem. All right. Anytime. Come no. on down. Oh, man. So you guys you can, you can, guys do tours all the time then, huh, Jessica? Oh, yeah. And it's still going. Oh, hold on. <laughs> She's taking us to Speaking of gin, what we do is we take the vodka and we distill it with botanicals. So we use these, what's called hillbilly stills. These are hillbilly these stills? These are hillbilly stills, yes. That's so the gin, technical name of the company. Yeah. It's like big ass fans. There are hillbilly stills from Kentucky. So gin has a lot of oils and botanicals. So these are a little easier to clean out of besides there's Nona over there. Um, something else we do is what's called a My Batch class. It's our distillation course. So we bring in a group, we teach them, we give them the distillation and you're able to be up close and personal with the stills. So you can learn how to do this. Oh yeah. Like we walk you through oh, yeah, it. Yeah, we should come learn how to make gin. We love gin. Oh yeah. I'd Bottle, love to learn how to label, make gin. Label. You take home the spirits you make. We give you a little two-liter barrel, and then you're able to age it at home. I could see the product now. Dancer's gray gin. There you go. You know. There you go. So a lot of regulation around that. Yeah. Hair in it. <laughs> oh, it have to have hair in it. So yeah, it'd be the hair of the dog. That would be my gin. Thanks. So thanks. perfect Father's Day gift. Our next class is June 23rd. We have another one um, in September, and then we'll keep doing it every month. So just go to your website. You can find all that. Go to our out. website, HC Eugene, my batch class. How yeah. do you get a tour? Tina wants to know how you get a tour. Tina makes. Um, she grows hops here. Oh, in town. okay. Um, just email us. Give us a phone call, and uh, we'll schedule one for you. Ben Ben says hair of the dog. D A W G. <laughs> 
You know what we should do? Go out in that other room because we got so new. Let's go upstairs you got and see the ultimate view. Okay, so we're gonna go get the ultimate view from upstairs. Jessica and I will go up here. We'll leave. Hopefully our signal stays. Sometimes we have trouble with signals when you're live. You know, it's just one of those things that happens. So, oh yeah. So here you guys go look. So here upstairs seating where you can come up. You can rent the, use this for space for uh, Absolutely. people. Showers, we've done a few of those. Right, so anytime we're just a little busy, can't really yeah, get you know, the ultimate one on one tour, we're still able to. Who's the cute guy with the pink shirt? Oh, uh, hey, Dennis. Yeah. Some woman on here named Lisa says, Who's the pink, cute guy with the pink shirt? Uh, Her last name happens to be the same as yours. Oh, well, that's, oh. That's you're still cute after all that these years. <laughs> All right, so you guys. this is one of the largest distilleries on the West Coast. Um, we have Big John over there. He is able to produce, Big John is still, able to produce a lot of product in a very clean spirit. This is just so big. I, did, yes. I have no idea. When you're outside, you don't really notice right, that. Right, right. Wow. All right, let's go. Isn't this cool, huh? Yeah, it's really nice space up here. All right, we're gonna go back down. Hi, Susan Rust, how are you? We are at Heritage Distilling, Eugene, um, learning about classes that they have on they can help you make your own gin or, or rum or whatever other product that uh, you're thinking about. Um, we are at Food Cart Friday, so uh, Jesse, we got this all set up. And here's another, oh, you can buy, so you can get the product right here too, although I found this yes. stuff other places too. Totally fine, it's you're everywhere. still supporting. Uh, so we do bottle sales, gifts, we can set up gift packs for you. This is the ultimate gift shop. You know what you guys had that was really fun, that Christmas thing? Um, the, oh, the yeah. 12 day, they have a really cool yes. package at Christmas. The I bought advent it. calendar. The advent calendar for yes, people that like alcohol. 24 days. It was really fun. Okay, so there's our group. So the food cart guy bought some samples, but they're waiting for you. Oh, okay. So you guys, um, Benny's brought some samples in um, for us to try for Food Cart Friday. And Sayin, who's had four and a half of drinks so far, <laughs> the shot master, your new name. Okay, you guys want to try some uh, I was taking meatballs? Six. Yeah, boom. It's uh, marinara. Albert, Katie, you guys want to try a meatball? Yeah, it's, it's on keto. It works for keto. I don't know, there's a lot of cheese on this. Do you still? Oh, does it? Yeah. Do you sell snipper my glasses yeah. and tulips? Hey, Jessica? Yeah. Do you guys sell snipper glasses and tulips? Oh, those are my stuff. Yes, yes. yes Rick, they do. They do. So there's a ton of glassware they can match yeah. up with oh, your yeah. alcohol and what it is. It's like a cold with a layer of meat. Shakers. I'm in. Kitchen towels. Oh, yeah. All right. So if you're looking for Father's Day gift, this yeah, is Yeah, you guys, this would be a great place to come and get a Father's Day gift. I see. Mushroom stuffed meatballs. These are mushroom stuffed meatballs with marinara. Oh, wait. Oh, pretty lost here. <laughs> I lost my mushroom. Summer, I think we should oh, yeah. maybe add a little slushy to the meal. What is that? So that is our pineapple upside down. I would sip on that. Pineapple juice, slush, and then you would shoot. I would shoot. I would also shoot. Pineapple upside down. Don't tell me. Here we go. This is pineapple upside down cake. Chug, chug, chug. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna share it with all my friends. They're not that special. <laughs> I'm kidding. You guys, that is really good. Oh. Day drinking. Day drinking. You like that? Isn't that good? It's tart and sweet and can't taste the alcohol. <laughs> So, My Katie, kind of drink. so when you take, is that kind of drink you have? When you're sitting yeah. around your house at the real estate office and you're sipping and thinking, oh, my next client's coming, what should I have today? <laughs> this is not normally what I have, no. And during the day, this is probably not a normal thing. No. I'm However, you would really be a boring. very friendly real estate agent. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> sure, you want a million dollar house? We'll get you in. Sandra, Sandra. Sandra. 
We have to have, make sure our insurance claim adjuster will check this and make sure everything good. Delicious. That's good, isn't it? Yes. Right, Albert. See, we're all friends. That's why we're all drinking after each other. Yum. Is that good? That's there you awesome. go, Dennis. Mm. It's just going to be ice. But, but with Dennis, there's no accounting for no, good taste. No. For good taste. I, I attest that it's good. <laughs> okay, Ethan, try this thing out. All right. Yeah, that's barely even alcohol. Yeah, you can hardly taste it. It just tastes like that's pineapple. Dangerous. That's dangerous. What that all right, Brad. <laughs> so I get the pleasure of being last. Yeah, you get all I'm the backwash. Go Let's go. Good, huh? Oh, that's summer right there. That's, that's <laughs> island vibes. That's beautiful. That's what you want. Two sips for me. So, again, for people that want to get the food cart pass, the passport, what do they need to do? Go to a food truck uh, and pick them up. We got 26 that are involved. You go to Parked in Eugene, P A R K D in Eugene. There'll be a list of all of them. I just heard over here complimenting the meatballs, saying, Oh my gosh, that came out of a food truck. That is becoming more and more common, that type of you know, quality food coming out of food trucks. So, right. so go check it out. And then again, we want to promote on the, t on the 30th of June. Food Truck Fest. The we'll Food Truck there. Fest, for, uh, it's a fundraiser for the Eugene Mission. We're going to be doing exactly. a show on the 29th to promote that with uh, Caitlin and all them. And uh, we're also going to be on the car wash next Thursday uh, doing oh, yeah. our thing, oh, um, yeah. packing it with uh, all kinds of people talking about this. It's a really good cause and a really great chance to try all the different food. Definitely, products. yeah. Plenty there's of tons food. of them. And, then you, and also, you can pick these up at Travel Lane County, downtown Travel Lane County Gateway. Um, and then you can pick those up. They're five bucks. And you already you go to two places, you already saved your money on that. And we'll have them at the Food Truck Fest. We'll be right by the entrance. We'll be selling those five bucks. You'll make your money back in one or two spots. All right. We should probably get back on that cycle. Jessica? Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing us around. Come see us at HGC. No, I, Kathy, we're going to get on that class. I want to do that gin class. I think that would be really fun. Open seven days. All right. All right, Jessica, thanks. Thanks. All right, you guys, you ready? Let's go get on the car. All right, we're going to we're going to get back on the food on the cart. We're going to go thank the Finnies. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you very much. That was awesome. Did you get some mushrooms out front? Yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah, you're Perfect. good. Thank you. Hey, you guys have a great visit. See you later. All right, you guys. So, again, this show is sponsored by Pacific Pub Cycle, and there's the address right there. You can go on to get it for 300 bucks. You can take 12 or 14 of your greatest friends, go do something like we just did for lunch, have a little bit of fun with people, and uh, and get a little bit of a workout at the same time. So, uh, yeah, I am gonna pop in here. We're gonna load up. Everybody on? No personal space on here. Most sticks, that's right. All right, driver, where, where did you go? You went to the Wandering Goat. I did. I, oh my I gosh. I literally ran oh, wow. over there as fast as well, I could. Can't that is my guys. favorite coffee shop in town. I know the, I already know the, uh, the cup. Wandering Goat is just down the street. If you guys want a really good, oh, what, Ben? Is there a motorized option? No, we're doing this all manually. That's your husband. <laughs> Look at no, no, motor. no. That's the motor right there, baby. See those legs? That's what makes this thing move. Oh, you guys want some? You guys, what kind of music you want to hear on the way back? I want to hear Dire Straits. You don't know what Dire Straits is? Oh my gosh! Money ain't for nothing. Money ain't for nothing, but the chicks for free. Wait, that was. Did the Eagles cover? Are we actually helping? No, it's Dire Straits. Yeah. Well, it Bike Friday, eating. perfect day for a Friday <laughs> ride. We just did our company <laughs> ride and it was glorious. Yeah. I bet you did, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Now this is the I mean, I don't part. get a pedal on that. I gotta stay in shape somehow. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Song.
again, you guys, you can uh, rent the Pub Cycle by going to pubcycle.com. Uh, find out more about it. It's available to take you around to pubs for two hours. You can do it for bridal showers, all kinds of stuff. Um, Heritage Distilling. Uh, open, teaching you how to distill and what you need to know about that. And uh, the other people we got here is Dennis Quigley with Principal Accounting. Ethan Clevenger, a really talented website developer. If you need information, call me. The beautiful Katie Howard, our real estate agent extraordinaire. Albert Roy, my friend, and also a uh, karate instructor. Eugene School of Karate. Eric Sayans and Brett and the Pacific Pubs are with the uh, passport. Gotta get this stuff here. And Shanda Oliver on the end uh, with something. Number one agent in the whole state, and he's our friend. We only have ten minutes. So Friday, have a good day, a good weekend. We will see you back here next week for more get live, get real, get dancing, and all the above. Spread this on your page. Let other people know what's going on. <laughs> Every time we do this, we have someone with anger management issues. He's had a car, had to peel off, but now we all think he's really cool. So have a good day. Have fun, we are. I just gotta keep letting it roll, it's too much power. <laughs>